Ray almost able to make the point hit in the center field. But the exit velocity and maybe a little bit of a funky hop. Now swinging a miss from Juan. Juan was on base all five times yesterday. League leading four on bases, so he checked Juan at first, and then he... David, he grounds this one to the left side. Underhand flip, not quite in time. Well, we'll go to second base on the air. For that choice and an error on Pena, allowing the runner he game hitting streak last night. They held him to against Berlin. And a lot of success. That one catches. MD Anderson strike zone is going to show you the veteran. A 3 1 count. That's hit hard, but foul. The count goes full. 30 runs now in their last three games. It's Hunter Brown. Where the Astros came back. Right, makes the play and an off balance throw. Over fast pitch, talking about the opponent batting average off Justin, but that's the only way they've been able to get on is a couple of hit. Here's Josh Naylor. Worked out of the stretch and then maybe he rethought it. Stretch. That's where he issued his walks and balls were missing up out of the zone and that can tell you set position and for whatever reason. Orbis walks were out of the stretch. Naylor goes. Joey Loperfito calls off Mauricio Dubon. Ties for the team lead with seven and has 30. Segment and Jordan Alvarez behind him. Kyle Tucker hits in the fourth lineup. First one from Tristan McKay. Hit game last night. Grounds one foul past third base. His fifth start of his career to foul down the left field line. And he goes down on strikes here. The clown's going to show you that pitch arsenal for Tristan McKenzie getting hit at 300. Or 300 is batting average against. But in the past, he's been a guy that would pump that fastball in. The fastball velo down about a mile and a half from. Well, Bregman, who. But there is no hitter, maybe in baseball, who. He made some swing adjustments and he went out. One thing you can count on in career. So he is happy it's made first as he fouls one straight back. As we head into the month of May. A little battle. And he gets another wave and a miss on. McKenzie's had his good games against the Astros. That curveball's been for one of the rare nights that no one when he's not selected. Goes after that one. It's well, it's easy after that first at bat. Freeman with a long run and the converted. Final out. In the bottom half of the 10th inning, Caratini came from Tony Kemp back in 2019. It could have been a devastating loss turned around on the last swing. Yeah, far in that first game, some of the magic is back. Astro scored last swing in Mexico, put a good swing on it. He miles an hour off the bat, a rocket ship into the right, and the party was on. It was great to see the boys here at home. With Justin Verlander on the mound. Yeah, this is how you do it. He has gone 10 and a third with a 1.74 yet they were trying to protect. But making his first start here. He has faced Cleveland more than anybody else in his career. As an Astro, are pretty good. 2 and 0 with a down at .38. He has done a fantastic job against left Astros uniform. Yeah, kind of amazing because he has given up. And he has pitched two gems against Cleveland since he's coming out. With the Houston Astros, pitching a couple of times, he has done a great job. He has two starts previous to this. In DC three game series. The numbers on pitching well. 1.74 is that. So here's the lineup that Verlander will face. Steven for JV through the years. He'll hit third. Josh Naylor, the cleanup hitter. Second right hand hitter. And Brian Rocchio will bat nine. Left field. He plays his second major league game. Mauricio Dart alongside Jose Altuve. You see Jeremy Pena there. Catcher in Verlander's career that he's worked with. Martini. The hero of last night's game with that pick. On a Wednesday night, the Astros trying to win their fourth in a row. Last few days, and both teams might have a little different. Angel Hernandez, the home plate umpire, calls it off the plate. And he almost able to make the play. He hit in the center field. But the exit velocity and maybe a little bit of a funky hop. Now swinging a miss from Juan. Juan was on base all five times yesterday. League leading four to one basis, so he checked Juan at first, and then he David, he grounds this one to the left side. Underhand flip, not quite in time. Well, we'll go to second base on the air. For that choice and an error on Pena, allowing the runner he game hitting streak last night. They held him to against Berlin. And a lot of success. 
That one catches. MD Anderson strike zone is going to show you the veteran. A 3-1 count. That's hit hard, but foul. The count goes full. 30 runs now in their last three games. It's Hunter Brown where the Astros came back. Right, makes the play and an off-balance throw. Over fast pitch, talking about the opponent batting average off Justin, but that's the only way they've been able to get on is a couple of hits. Here's Josh Naylor. He worked out of the stretch, and then maybe he rethought it. Stretch. That's where he issued his walks. And those were missing up out of the zone, and that can tell you set position. And for whatever reason, or of his walks were out of the stretch. Naylor goes. Joey Loperfito calls off Mauricio Dubon. Ties for the team lead with seven and has 30. Segment in Jordan Alvarez behind him. Kyle Tucker hits in the full lineup. First one from Tristan McKay. Hit game last night. Browns one foul past third base. His fifth start of his career to foul down the left field line. And he goes down on strikes here. The Clowns going to show you that pitch arsenal for Tristan McKinney getting hit at 300. Or 300 is batting average against. But in the past, he's been a guy that would pump that fastball in. And the fastball below down about a mile and a half from. Well, Bregman, who. But there is no hitter, maybe in baseball, who. He made some swing adjustments and he went out. One thing you can count on in career. So he is happy it's made first as he fouls one straight. 